Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to be going over the uh, Paranoid Android ROM that I installed on my Galaxy S3. So if we just go into the menu system and go down to About Phone, you can see here it is Jelly Bean 4.1.1 and this is Cyogen Mod 10. Um, so as you can see here we can tap on the screen and we can get the Jelly Beans and we can flick them off which I always love doing. I don't know why but there you go. So if we just go back and we can have a look at how this ROM works. Now this ROM gives you quite a few options for the way you can have your uh, menu system look. So for example, you can see here this is the standard way, um, the standard look, sorry, of the menu system. And we do have a section here called Paranoid Settings. If we go in here, we have some more options and we're going to go into Configuration. Now here we can set the different modes. So at the moment I'm on the stock with the hybrid mode off. You've also got like tablets, we've got a phablet mode and all of that business. So what I'm gonna do is actually change the mode from the normal mode to stock UI with hybrid on. Now when you change the modes, you do have to restart the phone every time. So I'm just gonna restart it and you'll see when it comes back on, you actually get a different logo. That's the Paranoid Android logo. And then when it comes back in, we're gonna unlock the phone. And then once we've unlocked it, you will go into the menu system and you'll see the difference. So if we just go uh, to the settings button and if we go into system settings, you can see now it is in hybrid mode. So it's now split down the middle, very similar to like a tablet would be. So we can scroll on this side, tap on a particular menu item, and then it will populate the, uh, the menu items on the right hand side, as you can see, which I think is quite nice. Um, and this is, like I said, the hybrid mode. Now we do get quite a few options with this ROM, so you can see here we have Paranoid Settings, System, Themes, Lock Screens and Launcher. So if we go into Launcher, you can see here we have some more options, we go to Home Screen and we can change the grid size, we can enable the search bar, resize any widgets, so what widgets that can't be resized, this will allow you to resize them, which is quite handy. Now if we come out of here, the other options here didn't seem to work for me, uh, as you can see there. And then we've got general, and now I always tick this because auto rotate the screen, so your home screen will rotate into landscape, which is quite handy. So if we rotate it now, you can see that it switches straight away, and we can slide between the different home screens, which again is very nice. So another great feature of this ROM is I want to show you in the paranoid settings here, there's a section called apps. Now what this does actually shows you all of the apps installed on your phone. So as you can see here, 1Password, Browser, all that good stuff. But at the very bottom, you will see the YouTube app. And there's a cool trick that you can do with this. So if you tap on here, you can see here we have a section called Size. Now this is the text size in the application. So I'm going to leave that on the default. This is the size of the application itself. We can force the settings um, if they don't work. And we've also got the larger screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out all of this. I'm going to go into the YouTube app. And I'll just show you this is the standard application that you get on your phone, uh, which everyone's probably used to by now. So as you can see here, nothing really different. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come out of here, I'm going to go back into system settings, paranoid settings, and then back into the apps one. Now what we're going to do, we're actually going to change the application into tablet mode. So all we're going to do is slide across and we're going to change this setting here from 310 pixels to 1280. Now we're going to save that with a little save button at the top. We're going to tap on OK and then if we just come out of this and if we just close down the app and then reopen it you'll see a completely different YouTube application. So if we just give it a second to load you'll notice straight away for one it's all black, two we have different tabs at the top and we can see way more videos than we could in the previous one and you get this nice sort of um, sliding effect as you go through all the different videos and that's by changing one simple setting in the settings of Paranoid Android. Now you can do these. Uh, you can do this, sorry, on other applications as well. But I just wanted to demonstrate it with obviously the YouTube app because that's quite a lot different from the standard one on the phone. So one of the options in the system settings here is in status bar. So if we tap on that and if we come down the, the screen, you can see here we've got brightness control, which allows you to adjust the brightness actually sliding your finger across the top of your phone, which I found very useful. So all you have to do is hold your finger and slide it to the left hand side and the screen will dim. And if you hold your finger on the left and slide it to the right, the screen will go really bright. So I just found that very simple and very easy to use. Now the Gmail app comes alive in this mode. I can see my folders, I can see all of my emails. So again, if you use Gmail on your phone, this is very nice. Now you do get a couple of extra applications with this ROM. So if you have a look here, we get Apollo. We also get the DSP manager, it's like an audio thing. And then we also get this nerdy ROM, which I love is the terminal emulator. 
and as you can see here um, I'm going to type in a couple of commands and those commands are ls to list the contents of that directory and then I'm going to do cd into my sd card which will change into that directory and again do an ls and that will show me what's on there so that's just a nice little geeky application that you get with it. So there are a couple of other modes for the Paranoid Android settings which I'm just going to quickly show you before I go. So if we go back into Paranoid settings and back into configuration, we're currently using the stock UI. Uh, so we're going to use the Fablet UI which is what the Nexus 7 uses. So we're going to tap on that, going to hit OK and that is going to reboot. Once we come back, you can see here nothing has really changed that much but if we pull down the notification tray, you can see it's shorter and it's like brought in on the sides which is a little bit different. Um, and then again, if we rotate, um, you can see that again, nothing much has really changed. And again, we drag down the notification tray and it's over on the side. So we're just going to change the mode from Fablet to Tablet Small UI. I'm going to restart the phone and when we come back, you can see the notification is now on the bottom of the phone. It's no longer at the top. So if we unlock the device, you can see we have the time and um, we can actually tap on that and we can bring up the notification. And if we actually tap on it again, it actually brings it up fully. And you can see that looks completely different to what the phablet mode looked like and also the hybrid mode. So some people may prefer having the notification section at the bottom of the phone instead of the top because the phone is quite large and stretching your fingers all the way up to the top to pull that down can be a bit annoying at times so yeah this may benefit some people so i just want to thank you for watching this video if you found it useful please give it a like if you're not subscribed to the channel click the subscribe button just above you can also follow me on twitter at matt saunders mcp and as always guys i'll catch you all in the next one